as a leader. Let Jesus be uh, our, our norm, our weight. When you do not know what to do, pray. Read through the Gospels. See the actions of Jesus. Sometimes very strong. Other times too, very, very flexible. You wouldn't think that Jesus will behave like that. Even going to the point of weeping. Focus on Jesus. Once we miss Jesus along the line, we will miss whatever we are doing. He is the example that we need to follow. Let us make it simple. It's not difficult as we think. It's trying to take the basic words of the word of God. Those basic things. Once you put the basic things to work, those things would magnify the Lord in your life. And once the Lord is magnified and exalted, you see things changing. The young man, the one who wouldn't like you to speak to, the sort of kindness that you show to that person will give you the opportunity to minister to that person. So now there is a global rebellion going on. People do not like to hear the name of God. Some people think that even God is dead. And when people are called bad, they become happy. Call me bad girl. Call me bad. Call me so and so name. So what is the place of goodness? Where has the word placed God? The word is pushing God aside. But God has given us a ministry. How can we maintain this ministry in the midst of this rebellion? Attacks may come to you once you want to do it. God will still pre preserve you. And once we open up and become the true examples of Christ, the true voices of Christ, wherever we are, you see the Lord glorifying his name and the church fulfilling his purpose. May the Lord God mighty be with his people.